Three road rage shootings across North Texas in less than a week. Tonight, police are on high alert and hoping to put a stop to what is seemingly increasing violence behind the wheel. Jeff Paul live in Arlington tonight with a message that officers want sent. Jeff? Well, Doug, two of the shootings that happened out here on the road resulted in close calls where the victims are expected to survive. But the third, as you see, ended much differently with a death. And police say most of the, the time, these cases can be prevented. Sergeant Randall Zabinick knows road rage. It takes just a second or two for things to, to go bad. He's seen a sharp uptick patrolling Carrollton, and Zabinick has experienced it firsthand. We came up to the window, banging on it, and I rolled down, like, what, what's the problem? And then, pop, it hit me. It was 12 years ago when he was a recruit, but the memory sticks with him. Could have shot me right there. But that's what's happened in Mesquite, Arlington, and North Richland Hills in the span of just a few days. It's a lot easier to uh, get upset when you have several thousand pounds of metal around you. Zabinick says giving yourself plenty of time to get from point A to B is his number one tip. He also says use your blinker and don't drive slow in the left lane. Ultimately, it comes down to just having courtesy. If you find yourself on the receiving end, Zabinick says slow down and let the angry driver pass and don't make eye contact. And that's the last thing we want to do in these situations is to challenge somebody. If you can't get away from the other driver and they follow you, police say call 911. If you can't make that call, they say drive to a public place like a police department or fire station. Zabinek doesn't expect the rage to simmer, not until our attitudes do behind the wheel. The one thing that you, you, know, that you cannot get back is your health, your safety, um, your life. Now, the police officers we spoke with say they tend to see more road rage in construction zones. They also say cell phones can be a factor, and also an influx of new transplants to Texas could also add to tensions. Reporting live here at the scene, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.